Yes. Omi. Ebu, let me ask a quick one before the end. Meheshimiwa, now that you are here, I kuna vitu mbili umesema which I agree with you. But then again, when you una reason is not how the president and a reason. On the case ya peaceful demonstration, everyone knows kila mtu alikuwa naangalia. It was done so very well. But at the at the start mm. ulisema kuna watu wameshikwa and then we are having to have to like to bail them out. Question is wanashikwa kwa nini? All they were doing they were just marching kusema they do not agree with some of the things apart from finance bill. Kuna vitu nyingi may happen in the past two years. They were not happy but at the same time our watu wana disappear kuna wenye wamekufa as in in a way our hands are tied. Because tutaenda hivyo tutajaribu kufanya as peacefully as we can but the same goons and the same people when you are in power wanna use the money they have na hizo resources zote to put these people who are trying to speak kwenye wako and then on the same thing dialogue to lijaribu you know over the weekend they tried but hata wewe uliona maswali yalikuwa naulizwa yalikuwa najibu Kenya anataka wanamuuliza amesema kwa kwa wakati alikuwa anafanya campaign alisema atafanya maneno ya mama mboga at, atapeana jobs kwa vijana watu wa boda anaangalia rights zao Two years in, after two years of Jesha Vizuri, I'm going to make So, however much we are advocating, we meet and then we try to talk. You get what I mean? Ukase masisi young people to tafute ID and everything. Come next elections to find what is needed to be done. The same same people when you to look up and then what say the young people kupata ID. I know of a relative amengoja ID yake for more than four months. Ata kupata job ina kwa ngumu kwa zahana hiyo proof ya, ya kwenyesha identity ama anything. Kwa sababu IDs, passport, zote zimekwama. Ata sujui ni gani zina. And then unauliza, there are those people wenye wana kwambia, wana apply and then within a week zao zimetoka. But there are those young people wenye maybe are wako privileged. Tuko huko hivyo ushago. Una apply, unangoja, unangoja na high cam. Moving on, Akasema, in the in the name of Anna, Anna's idea, young people, at the moment, MPSA transactions in end are so high. Bank rates is in increase every Anto, other Anthony, to clear the tari. Anthony, to clear the tari. Mm -hmm. How then to Taeza ku move on forward? Kama young people, when you to Nigeria, book for your businesses, beat at a Kamauno Zamandizi. Ukienda kufanya transactions zako za mpesa, zimeenda juu kabisa. Izi ndizo vitu yu mtu ali promise atata call. But it's the same things amefinya hadi pesa itoki. So moving on forward. Ni nini ineza ambiwa uyo mtu ndi at least aize kutusikia? Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The point ya protesters kukushikwa. That is unconstitutional. Because Article 37 of the Constitution mm -hmm. powers you guys to pick it, it's allowed. And I want to compliment the Honorable Chief Justice. The Leona Janda, Wakati pass out your lawyers, Aki criticize government. Aki say protesters should not be arrested. And if they'll be arrested, I saw Kotini, Watachliwa. I saw Yule Jamari Beba Mesh Kotini Jana Alipoa Kashubeli at 2000. And I think I raised uh, your issue earlier to Kitulipoanza, the e conversation happened. Kasema, you guys consult your fellow GNZs countrywide. If there is anybody who is languishing in remand, and by Alikua reign in court Jana because all the protesters were reigning in court yesterday, Kama Kuna Mtu Amebaki, Atama Makona Bondi, a one million, Atama Akona Bondi, one million, Nita Toa, Nita Mtoa, Nita Kisha, Ako Free, because you did all my Halia Jew. Nice to share. Taki watu waseme mm -hmm. mm -hmm. PR. Remember that Gen Z guy before this mambo ya finance bill anaitwa Brian Mwenda. Wala alikuwa anamuita fake lawyer. Exactly. Everybody was against him. Mm -hmm. Kamekwa ndani, I bailed him out. Recently, uh, we have another Gen Z Ian Joroge before finance bill and the bill atakuwa mm -hmm. na issue na, na certain cop who was uh, happened to be my bodyguard alikuwa bodyguard yangu zamani. So I also bailed him out. So I've been bailing guys out. When I was an MP in Coast, Uko Mombasa, the guys of Mombasa were listening to me right now. We had the MRC. Over 58, yeah. the over 58 MRC yeah. members, including their kids, wives, uh, uncles, families. They were taken to Shibolatoa prison. They were languishing there. Nilienda na nikawatoa. So mimi nimezoea kusaidia watu. Nimezoea kusaidia watu. So just mm -hmm. find out when, if there is anybody mm -hmm. in, in police custody or in remand, 
we bail him or her out today. Mm -hmm. The next one hour, tutamtoa. What was you mean? I to kuapa tuna tuna ongea tu hapa kwa 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 mtandao. So you ni number one. Hizo yeah, zengine, exactly. I cannot answer for the exactly. president. I cannot answer for the president. Nata mm -hmm. unasikia tuja wale muuliza about his own deputy. Nakasema, he cannot talk for him. <laughs> He's a grown up person. Yeah, but 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 what you appear mean you like a following Kadogo over millions for my social media platform. I will uh -huh. I will I will raise all these mm -hmm. I will raise all these yeah. these these questions. I will I will I will tweet. I will make sure I reach the president. I reach state mm -hmm. house. Then you attack. Mm -hmm. Then you attack because mm -hmm. uh, for now I'm like an enemy to them. Kutoka diyanze kuongea ukweli ya wale ba advisors walikuwa na mislead the rice tukapata hii mm -hmm. uh, mess ya over taxation hii mambo ya mkate ya kukutaksiwa na kila kitu and i want to give a very good example and, and i'm going to kuitaja mm -hmm. even kwa my, kwa my tweets take a good example of uh, mm -hmm. a country like sudan sudan we had a very powerful mm -hmm. president actually he was the most powerful president in africa mm -hmm. called he was called al-bashir al-bashir he was uh alikuwa darling ya masses sudan walikuwa wanampenda sana Jeshi, polisi, walikuwa na mpenda sana. But alipoanza kutaxa mm -hmm. mkate. Imagine he was brought down because of mkate. Mkate ni letter resolution, I mean revolution, I'm sorry.